Hi everyone, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my first attempt at a pretty large furniture makeover. However, despite it being a decent sized piece of furniture, it's an incredibly easy makeover that you could do with any sort of cheap furniture to make it look way more expensive and way more personalized to your own style. I'm sharing with you how I transformed a $50 TV stand from Walmart into a mid-century modern console. So first I want to talk about this original piece. This TV stand, like I said, cost $50 from Walmart in 2013. Yeah, I actually bought this for my first college dorm. And well, because money is very tight after college graduation, it came with me to my apartment now. Let's talk about the piece in general. The TV stand is black, so that really just made this corner of my apartment look like a black hole, especially with the combination of the TV, which is also black. It's also on wheels, which I think is incredibly tacky. And finally, it doesn't really provide a nice option for storage and organization which is so essential in an apartment, so I came up with a really easy hack to fix that. So those are some of the issues I was having with that TV stand. So now let's jump over to the voiceover where I explain how I transformed this into that beautiful mid-century modern piece. The first thing I had to do was completely disassemble the TV stand, so here's a little time lapse of that. Once it was done, I gave all the surfaces a good wipe down. Next, we're on to the contact paper, and this is just so easy. All you need to do is roll out your contact paper to size, cut it down, and then just stick it on. I used a flat card to kind of smooth everything out. And then, of course, a good tip for contact paper is to peel a couple inches off the backing first, then stick it down to your surface and slowly pull away the backing once that little piece is stuck on. And for pieces that you could see on the inside and outside of the TV stand, I made sure to cover both sides with the contact paper. After that, all you have to do is put the TV stand back together. Next, I wanted to give this TV stand some actual legs instead of the wheels, so I picked up some wood stain. I'll link the one I used down below. And also, four of these legs that I picked up at the hardware store, they had the perfect mid-century modern look and I just gave those about three to four coats of the stain, allowing it to dry completely in between each coat. Next, I took the leg bracket hardware, which are separate, I'll link those below as well, and I just used a pencil to mark where I would drill holes, and then that's exactly what I did. I just drilled in new holes where the brackets would go, and then just screwed those in place. Then all you simply have to do after that is screw the legs onto the brackets. So to solve my storage solution, I picked up a white paint sample and then I had a board cut down at the hardware store into two 11 by 11 inch pieces. And I gave both of those boards two very nice coats of this white paint so that they were completely covered. With the paint dry, I'm now going to add two knobs to the front. So I just measured on my board exactly where I wanted them. Then I just used my drill to make the holes where the knob screws will go and just attach the knobs. Now, this is my favorite part of this project. 
taking both of those DIY cabinet fronts and then two of those standard fabric bins that you can get like anywhere. I picked these up at Walmart. I'm going to attach the bins to the back of the drawer. So you can see me doing that here. I just flip it over and use some hot glue at first to attach it just to hold those into place. Then I just inserted the bottom of the fabric bin in so that everything would be nice and sturdy and took my staple gun and applied a bunch of staples all on the back to really make sure that those drawers aren't going anywhere when you're pulling them open and closed. So here is what that should look like when you're done and they just easily and perfectly slide into place on this shelf. Now with all the DIYs done, let me show you the before and now the after. Okay guys, so I want to know exactly what you think of this TV stand makeover. Leave your opinion down below, whether it's a good one, a bad one, I just wanna hear your feedback. Personally, I wasn't very happy with how it looked right away when it was first done, but now that it's been in my space for quite some time, I wouldn't have it any other way. I just, that black was just kind of dragging down my decor, and this just really made it for a fun, funky, and customized piece in my apartment that nobody else has. Now I know it's not perfect, and my one tip if you decide to remake this for yourself with whatever furniture piece you have is to get permanent contact paper. The kind I have is removable, which means it doesn't stick that well. So if you want this to be something lasting and really, really seamless and perfect, get permanent contact paper. Anyways, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. And that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!